Hi you guys, welcome back to another mukbang. Yes, I am by myself for today's mukbang, solo mukbang. I thought I'd do one because I realized that I haven't done one in such a long time, like a solo mukbang. It's normally with my sister, Emma, Nico, or hubby. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd, you know, surprise you guys with just a full face <laughs> solo mukbang. So we have some spicy noodles with egg yolk. Oh my goodness, this has been such a long time coming. I haven't had this for like a good three months. Of course, I've been in Thailand, as you guys all know. And I don't think I've had, I did one Korean video when I was in Thailand. And yeah, so we have some spicy noodles with two egg yolk. Chico chicken here on the side. This is the snow flavored, um, um, yes, yeah, snow cheese. And I have the sweet and spicy, which is, I think, yeah, I always pronounce it wrong. So I just try to avoid saying it. Um, but it is the spicy version. So I think it's yumming. So yeah. <laughs> um, pickled radish right here. So let's get started. I'm going to do my Canadian dry ginger ale right here. This is my first time having it in such a long time. I do miss like my Thai iced tea and matcha tea and pandan drink. Oh, that I miss. I brought this cup all the way from Thailand. I bought two of this cute cup from Starbucks right here, limited edition. And I actually had to carry it on because my luggage was all full. <laughs> so, but it was so adorable, I had to bring it. Here we go. I think that's good. So cheers, you guys! That is so good. Okay. I'm gonna do the pickle radish first. <laughs> so good when you've been craving it for so long. Okay. Egg yolk time. These are organic egg yolk. I like adding egg because it makes the noodles less spicy and it makes it like so creamy and a little bit more saucy but you do have to like eat it right away because then the egg yolk starts to be like a little bit thick so and gets dry That is all mixed up right here. Woohoo! Look at those noodles! It's the first bite is the noodles. I'm like a hit or miss when it comes to like chopsticks. <laughs> some days are really good, some days I'm just like, can I get this chopstick right? Struggle. Happy dance. Speechless. You know when it's something that's so good, you just want to eat and enjoy it. Snow cheese. It goes great with the um, pickled radish here. Mm. So, a lot of you guys asked me, how come you guys didn't make like videos with my sister? I think we only made one each for our both of our channel, and it was a race. Um, yeah, so a total of like two videos. Like in the beginning when we were like, when I was planning to go to Thailand, we had a lot of videos lined up. We were like, okay, let's do this, let's do that. But honestly, we just got distracted with all the other stuff. That's why we didn't get a chance to do like a lot of mukbangs. So 
it was a good thing and a bad thing because we kept ourselves busy but I know you guys were like asking for more mukbangs so hopefully when we unite um, we'll get together and do one but you know that we did a lot of videos like individual videos and um, we just ran out of time <laughs> and we did a lot of vlogs too so if you guys follow our vlogs you'll kind of see what we did during the day these noodles are perfect so this is the um 40% less spicy. I think this is my favorite from all the other Samyang noodles because it's not too, too spicy. And when you add cheese and egg in here, it's the perfect level of spice. I haven't tried this yet. I always wonder what's in these chicken. Why are they so good? Surprisingly, <clears throat> I thought I would have more like fried chicken in Thailand, but this time around, I was a little disappointed because I thought McDonald's and KFC had some of the best fried chickens. Like I think I remember raving about it like two years ago when we went. I was like, oh, McDonald's and KFC has the best fried chicken. When I went to try it again, it was kind of like, why is it so dry? Why is it so like... Not as I remembered, so I was like disappointed in fried chicken, but the one thing that was so good was their burgers. Even with um, the knockoff of like, I wouldn't say knockoff, but like another chain of in an out burger. In Thailand, it's called, I think it's called meat and bun, bun and meat, bun and meat, yeah. Um, they had the burger, I think we all did a video of it and it was like one of the best burgers. So I think Thailand has one of the best selections in different styles of burgers, more than like home. So I was like shocked in that sense. I only did one pack. Sometimes one pack is not enough. And sometimes when I do two packs, it's too much. So maybe I'll do one and a half. But then I don't want to waste the other half of those noodles. So it's a hit or miss. It feels a little sticky from the egg yolk. Like I feel like my mouth is like, or my lips is a little sticky. It's better eat this fast. I think for the first like week and a half, we were all like, you know the first week when you're back at home from being away for so long, you become a little bit, I wouldn't say 
depressed but we were like sulking a lot about because of the weather change Vancouver the first actually the first day was sunny the rest of the falling days were cloudy and a little bit cold and when you don't get the sun you feel like you're lazy number one you don't want to get out of bed and that's how we felt for the first week um so it was like vacation withdrawals it's pretty bad I was like okay we got to shake out of it so we like got up did stuff and then it was all coming back to the same rhythm routine right before we left so I think the best person that adjusted to the change was Nico. Nico was, he didn't have any jet lag. He was out and about playing basketball, hanging out at the park, and Emma and I were just like dead. <laughs> Completely tired, didn't want to do anything, but just be on the computer and just watch movies and go to bed. That was like our first week. Crispy, tender, sweet, spicy, so good. Let's get a big bite here. The snow cheese stands out. These two together kind of blends in. Mm. Last noodle bite. When you run out, I always want more. Look at that. I'm wearing the different kind of lipstick and it's like rubbing off. Mm. That was a perfect meal. Last one. All done you guys thank you so much for watching this mukbang and if you guys want to see more solo mukbangs let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye